You know how many tries that just took? It wasn't worth it. Welcome back to another episode of Fly Tie Friday, and today Hold we are tying. What are you You're doing? You're gonna start with Alvi? I'm trying to film no, and you just. Scoot over. Fine. I just wanted for once. Well, I just wanted to be it's in It's not it even for your once. channel. Not my channel. They don't even know they you. Know no, they me. don't. Yes, they Look, do. Can I just start the video now? Can I just start the video now? Get a load of this guy. All right, now that that guy is gone, we are gonna start our panfish gurgler off with a size 12 streamer hook. You know, my go-to, and put it tight in the vise right there. Okay. Now we're going to take our thread and wrap that down the hook shank, secure it to the hook. Okay, now we can trim off this little section. Now we are going to be using Flashaboo for the tail of this fly. So we're going to grab a few strands, like five or six. That looks good right there. We're going to grab them and cut them off this whole thing. All right. Now we're going to flip those around. That'll be our little tail. Cut that off. All right, so now we have the tail of our fly. Now we are gonna cut the foam body for it. Um, this is probably the toughest part of making this fly is getting a nice foam body that'll sit good on the hook. We are using some super thin foam. I think this is like uh, 16th inch or 32nd inch, like it's super, super thin. So we're just gonna cut out two thin tabs. Um, I'll show you that once I have them cut out. Alright, now we have our foam cut out. You can see right there, it's just a little tiny strip, probably a quarter inch wide, and the length of it does not really matter at the moment. So now, we are gonna tie them on. I'll do the top one first. The reason we use this thin foam is because if you use bulkier foam, like you would use for a bass fly or a pike fly, that is gonna make your fly super big and it'll make it tough for the bluegill to get it in their mouth. Now we're gonna flip it upside down so we can get the bottom part. All right, now you can see we have both of those hanging there. Now, we're gonna tie on our rubber legs. This will be a good time to do it. So you take your rubber silicone strand right there, and you're just gonna cut two uh, one inch sections. And tie one on each side, and those will be the legs. This is kind of like a mix between a foam spider and a gurgler, but it's one of my favorite panfish flies just because of how well it works. So I thought I should share it. Maybe it could help some other people catch some fish. Tie it on both sides. All right, so now we have our legs on the fly. As you can see right there we have our white legs so now we're gonna take the foam body and pull it on top and wrap it up right by the front of the hook all right so now on top you can see we have like the body 
and this little flap hanging back and then a head and we're gonna do that same thing to the bottom now <laughs> And now we're gonna whip finish it because this is the final part of the fly. What just happened? And we're gonna cut our thread. And like that, we have our finished fly. It looks probably like a mix of a gurgler, a spider, and like some sort of cricket pattern, but that is very good. It will catch a ton of panfish. It's one of my favorite flies. Oh, and I forgot. We gotta finish it with the old super glue. We gotta get the brush out, and then we're gonna take our little needle on a stick, a little poker, and put just a drop right on the tip. You don't need a lot. And just put it right where you finish the knot, right up there on the head. Let that harden, and now you gotta finish fly. Now that the super glue has dried, you can do one of the things I like to do, take out a Sharpie in any color you want, just draw some dots on it. You know, fly tying is kind of like an art, so why not do some artwork on your fly? <laughs> draw some random dots all over it, try and make it look like a bug, because that's what these bluegill are eating. There you go, you got yourself a little green spotted cricket gurgler fly. This is one of my favorite bluegill flies for the summer because it has a foam body, it floats, and that makes it very easy to tell when you have a bite, so it's a great beginner fly. And bluegill are eating a lot of bugs off the surface in the summer, it's one of their main forages. So this matches the hatch perfectly and will catch you a ton of fish. I highly recommend you tie some of these if you do not have any already. And that's it, that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something. If you have not seen the last two videos, those will be right up here and my channel will be right there.